Hello everyone, I am Alka1983 and welcome to a new Pokemon Vortex video. Yeah, Vortex, remember that series that I used to do? <laughs> Sorry it's been so long. Like, sometimes I don't record Vortex a lot because I don't enjoy Vortex in a way that I like to play it a lot every day. And once something f starts feeling forced, like I have to do it, then I then it becomes not fun very quickly. And I've had that before when I did daily or near daily Vortex videos. And then I just... I wouldn't say I broke down, but I really didn't like Vortex, and I just didn't play it at all. So I take my breaks between videos, usually. Sometimes I'll still play on my own, do a little bit of things, and I try to get my dailies every day. Um, but the reason you haven't seen it for a while is just because I didn't feel like it. That, that's most of it. But I have felt like it recently, and I thought, you know what, I'll make some Vortex videos, because there's still some people commenting about it, and I say, hey, when it will return, or hey, I really like your Vortex videos, someone who recently discovered themselves. Here we are today. Um, my intention for the video today, and I might even record some more uh, later today for like, in a couple days, is to hunt for Heatran, specifically Shiny Heatran. Another Route uh, 8, I'm on Route 9 right now, so I'll go there. Now, Heatran only appears during daytime, so I have for in game time a couple hours. You can't quite see it because it's off screen, um, but unfortunately, just the size of my computer screen and the exact dimensions I need for YouTube, they don't completely match up. But we'll manage. It's 13.32 right now uh, in in-game time. Here's Route 8. Let's see, I don't think there's any grass further here. There is water, I think. I think that was Route 8. Yeah, but that's not where to find Heatran. Heatran's in the grass. So we're just gonna be here with, uh, with Nick Mouse. So I have most of the Heatran. I just do not have shiny Heatran yet. And... As you might remember, if you've been around for long, I'm trying to complete the Pokedex. It is a very slow process, but I try to add to it every time I play. So, for today, I'm trying to get a Shiny Heatran. Now, Heatran already, because it is a legendary Pokemon, is already hard to find. And it is made even harder due to the fact that it is a Shiny. It's a variant, so that adds to the rarity. But it's Shiny, and Shinies and Shadows... Are slightly more rare than the other three which are dark metallic and mystic so it's very likely I won't actually find any of it now this happens to also be the route where you can find Pansir and therefore shiny Pansir and that is the main Pokemon I use to help catch wild Pokemon especially the common ones such as your Geodude, your Wormpulls, your Dust Skulls, your uh, Sentrets, your Standlers, whatever Now, since the last Vortex video, a lot has changed in terms of my content, in terms of my life. If you've been a subscriber for a longer time, you have paid attention to my videos, and it's not just Vortex that you watch. And if you do just watch Vortex, that is okay, that's fine. Um, but if you've seen some of the other videos, you will have noticed that I've uploaded daily for a good amount of months now. And what I tried to do is there's two main things that have generally uploaded in the last few months, which are Pokemon Battle Revolution and Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. For me, um, Battle Revolution is more fun. So I like to upload that more, I like to stream that more. They both happen on stream on Twitch. My Twitch link, by the way, is in the description of this video. It's been there since for, for a very long time. If you're ever interested in following me on Twitch, seeing things live. Um... Very low chance I'll do a Vortex stream, but I don't feel like Vortex works really well as a stream game. Uh, so I won't be streaming that much at all, so please don't expect that. But I stream multiple times a week, so at least two, that's what I go for, sometimes even three. Um, generally, I play Pokemon Battle Revolution about once a week. I have some of my own teams that I make, I make metronome battles, I have a gym leader series. Where I take the gym leaders from the games but make them use Pokemon that they use in the anime. For example, I recently... Um, I'm not sure if it's actually if it's already premiered. I think it's, it premiered a couple days ago on YouTube, actually. In the most recent stream I did, I took, I w I'm in Johto right now for the Gym Leader series, uh, after having encountered in the TCG Islands first. Um, I'm in Johto right now, and I did Bugsy. Now, Bugsy in the anime and in the games has a Scyther. But in the anime, also has Spinarak and Metapod. The Spinarak, I can give some decent moves. I can give it a Signal Beam, Poison Jab, Giga Drain, Shadow Sneak. Even though its stats aren't that great, 
you can make a decent battler just due to giving it all the right matchups against opposing Pokemon. However, they also have a Metapod. That one's a lot harder to make work. And then that's the three that they used in the battle against Ash in the anime. So what other Pokemon were seen in the gym? Caterpie, Weedle, Kakuna. Well, I already have Metapod, so I'm not going to use Caterpie. The Weedle and Kakuna, I already have the Cocoon, so I thought I'd take the little one and give him Weedle. So then I have to make Weedle work. And a Metapod. And a Spinarak. That's a challenge. But it's a fun challenge. And I try to show off the Pokemon in one battle. Sometimes I'll, um, sometimes I'll do two battles and I feel like I haven't been able to show off one or two Pokemon at all. And that's what I show off. I have Metronome battles. I did um, recently exclusive battles, with which I mean, let's take Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue. Pokemon that are exclusive to Red don't appear in Blue. Versus Pokemon that only appear in Blue and not in Red. And have those teams of uh, choose six of them. Give them only Metronome, have them face each other. What I've also done twice, including the most recent one, is Metronome battles of just one Pokemon species. The first one I took a team of normal Bulbasaur and a team of shiny Bulbasaur, and they fight each other. And most recently I did Mareep. I think that premieres tomorrow? That might actually be today. But no, no, that's no, in two days from now, as I'm recording this, so it'll probably be tomorrow as you're watching this, because that's probably when I'll um, set this one to go live. Um, that is when I'll do Mareep versus Shiny Mareep, because my partner's favorite Pokemon is Mareep, so I decided to go with that one. Alright, Magma Coliseum music has begun. We're calling out Heatran. Heatran, come on. Where are you? Still catching the level 6 immunity Pokemon, just for future use, whether it's I just want money at some point in the future, or I decide to go for seasonals. Then I have a lot of them to use if I just catch them like this. So that's what I do with Battle Revolution, like the main things that you can expect to see me do every time, uh, every week in Battle Revolution. Note of a set dates that I do those streams. Sometimes it might be a Friday, sometimes it might be a Sunday, sometimes it might be a Tuesday. It really just depends on my schedule and I guess how tired I am or not. Because my schedule depends on different things. And me having a partner that's American and us not living together, um, I'm for a good portion on an American sleep schedule so that we can still do stuff together online. Whether it's just chatting or playing Minecraft or watching anime, stuff like that. Why are there a lot of people here? This is not a live recording. Do they know I'm here or do they all suddenly want heat or, or did they realize, oh my god, Alka is recording? Because I did say that I wanted to make a for like record a Vortex video a bit earlier. So maybe someone found me and it's like, everyone joined Alka1993, he is on Route 8. Like, that's possible. I remember the one time that I did a Vortex um, stream. Because I, I mentioned earlier, the Vortex in generally don't do well. Once, it did go really well. I remember I went hunting, I think, in a water route for Tapu Fini. I did other hunts as well in the same stream. We did many things. Did some, I think... Uh, side quests as well. But I went to hunt for Tapu Fini, and there were so many people coming to chat. Like, at least 10 people chatting. Um, lots of people on the screen trying to follow me around wherever I went. That was so fun to see. So, if I have Vortex Stream, I would love to have something like that. However, the last few times that didn't happen. And I don't really know if it was coincidence or exactly what it was that caused the amount of people to show up and to participate. I don't know, but I'd love to see it again. I One of the main reasons why I continue with Battle Revolution is because of the interactivity. I love interactivity, uh, so I love when people leave comments of what they think of the video. Uh, for Battle Revolution lately, especially, there have been multiple people making new requests, because that's the other things I do. As I've, I've mentioned two main things with Jim Lee's use and Metronome Battles. Sometimes I make my own teams that I'm interested in and do Coliseum challenges with them, things like that. But um, people can, you can make requests. If you're in the Twitch stream, there is a redeemable using the channel points on Twitch. 
um, where you can force, you force seems like too negative a word, but you can make sure, ooh, there's a Pokemon I don't have yet, and I'm just gonna throw a Master Ball at it. Yay. Didn't have that one, and I'm actually gonna evolve that one once. Wasn't here for Score Bunny, but I don't have a lot of the Score Bunny, so I'll take it. Yay. You can make requests. If you do it on Twitch while I'm streaming using the Redeemables, then you can choose either a full team that I then have to use in a stream and therefore you do video. It'll be like a later stream. I'm not going to build it that stream because I need time to train the team. Um, you can choose a full team, or you can just choose one Pokemon. Let's say you really like uh, Regirock. Then you could say, okay, I want you to use Regirock, and then I decide the rest of the team. And then for that Regirock, or for the full team, if you use a full team redemption, you can be as detailed as you want um, for what you want. If you want it to be a Torterra, but it only uses special attacks, I can do that. If you want a Blastoise, but Blastoise is only allowed to use water type moves. I can do that. Um, you can mention nickname, you can mention the gender of the Pokemon, you can mention the, uh, the way the effort values are distributed, although generally that sp speaks for itself. Um, for most Pokemon anyway, unless it's like a mixed attacker, I guess. Uh, for the most part, it speaks for itself, and I, I just I give it as competitive um, of a, like EVs and IV spread as I can, as I'm able to manage. So you can do that. But if you use the channel redemptions for it, then you just get that team in the next stream, probably. You can also leave requests on YouTube, which is a lot easier because, I just, as I said, I stream Battle Revolution once a week. It's, um, like, every second day that I upload a Battle Revolution video. And I try to, like, in every other day, I have, like, a uh, Vortex thing, in this case, with this video, or a Yu-Gi-Oh thing. But if, in the comments of... A Battle Revolution video on YouTube, which again directly come from the streams, you can also make a request. You make it as detailed as possible. You could say, Yeah, I just want you to make a, a water type team. Like, I'm also already working on mono type teams. Um, so maybe I won't listen to a directly listen to a request of, Hey, make a water type team, because I'll eventually get to that anyway. But, um, if you give me a team of just the Pokemon that you want me to use, then I can do that. But I don't have to follow the YouTube request. If it's using the Twitch Redemption, I have to follow it. I have to uh, perform that request. If it's a YouTube one, I don't have to, although lately I'm pretty sure I've done all of them. Because I love that interactivity, I love the people that think about the videos and how like they comment on how I use the Pokemon. Maybe I have some, some tips or how, they, how they'd like to me to use certain teams. And I love that. I love interactivity. I love when people chat in the Twitch chat when I'm doing a Twitch live stream. Uh, when people are there for the premiere on YouTube for the videos. Or they just leave a comment saying what they thought of the video. Saying what they thought of the team that I used. Certain combos. Lucky moments. Unlucky moments. Um, and then the requests that they make. That has definitely uh, helped me find Pokemon Battle Evolution videos more fun to record and more fun to work with. So if you're for interested in any of that, then please let me know. The Battle Revolution, in case those that don't know, is a, a video game for the Nintendo Wii. It takes place in Pokemon's fourth generation, so that's Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Hard Gold, Soul, Silver. Those are the games within the fourth generation. Anything that is uh, introduced after that, Gen 5 and beyond, can't be used because they didn't exist at the time. But Battle Revolution in Gen 4, for me, was the first time I got introduced to competitive battling. Um, it is also just my favorite generation, maybe because it just has that many different uh, positive memories. Like the competitive, that's where I got into competitive battling in Gen 4. Um, that is where I first made use of Wi Fi. I remember the very first usage that I consider um, us as a family in this house having gotten out of Wi Fi is a spirit tomb. I remember I was playing Pokemon Pearl. And we got Wi-Fi and wanted to make it work, so I, I figured that out, how that worked. 
and was on the GTS and I really wanted a spiritual because I couldn't get a spiritual by myself because I didn't have like any like, enough friends to work with for the undergrounds. So I wanted to get a spiritual via the GTS and it happened to be a shiny one um, that I asked for. I don't remember what they asked for but I traded for it and that's over Wi-Fi and I needed the Wi-Fi for that which is it's really cool that I was able to do that and I'm certain that that Spiritomb, a shiny spiritual nickname Ace, is still on my Pokemon Pearl file because I, that's sort of like a nostalgic memory, like for would I play the game again in general, but that Spiritomb is what I consider, uh, what I consider to be the first result of um, us having Wi-Fi. Actually, now that I think about it, I have a Spiritomb in this team. Yeah, a shiny Spiritomb. Because it has no weakness, so I thought that would be useful in case I want to catch, let's say, a legendary, but I don't want to use a master ball. So it, spiritual could take a lot of hits and will be taken out quickly. So I have time to throw ultra balls, things like that. It's a shiny spiritum, but I called it Ace. I just remembered that. I called this spiritum Ace after the spiritum that I got in Pokemon Pearl, the first ever result of. Uh, of my Wi-Fi. Which makes me think of something for Battle Revolution. I should make a team of just like nostalgic stuff for it. Pokemon that are nostalgic in some way. Don't have to all be from like the same generation maybe. But Shiny Spiritual Gold Ace would be one of them. I could also open my old games like Pearl and Platinum and look at the competitive teams on it and try to retrain like, rebuild those competitive teams, put them on Platinum, put them on Battle Evolution. Especially my first competitive team. Let's think what was on it. I had a Gallade, that was my lead. Close Combat, Shadow Sneak, Taunt, Destiny Bond. It had an Empoleon. Pretty sure it had an Empoleon. It had a Heatran, I was choice to make Heatran. Shiny Tyranitar. Um, I think I had a Gengar, but I'm not sure. A Gengar might have been in the second team. Not fully certain what all of them were on the team. Hmm. But I had that. Oh, shiny rock. I don't. I don't have a shiny rock. Maybe because of the evolutions. Pokeball. Um, that's a Lola. Shinies, this is- I have a full list of shinies now. And right here, I now see I have a metallic rock rough, but I don't have a metallic lichen rock dusk yet. Is it dust time? It might be dust time at this point. So we need the metallic rock rough. This one. To become dusk. Hey! Perfect time of day for dusk. Let's go. I'll uh, go for a little longer. We haven't even seen a heat chain, which makes sense. We've seen two rare encounters, I think. We saw a fortress and we saw dark scorp and he's I caught both of them. Uh, we didn't see the heat chain, which makes sense. Um, but they could, I guess I was able to just talk about a lot of things because I haven't made vortex videos in a while. And what I do like to do is during vortex videos while I'm walking around, I talk about stuff, and I can talk pretty easily. So, um, I guess I hope you, you're you willing to check out the, either the Battle Revolution videos in case you didn't realize that I've, I've been uploading daily for months. Uh, with every second day Battle Revolution thing, other things in between. If you're interested in any of that, then please let me know. It doesn't just have to be competitive teams that you request, if you request, you don't have to. It doesn't all have to be Salamence and Garchomp and Groudon and Infernape and a bunch of competitive stuff. If you want me to make a team with... I don't know, Aria Dos and Viper and Eevee, then I will make a team with those Pokemon. I don't mind. I find it fun to make other teams as well. I'm actually playing through uh, Pokemon Diamond at the moment, uh, with my partner playing through Pearl. It's the first time in uh, playing through Gen 4, like the main Gen 4 games. Like For the partner takeover on Twitch, which by the way will hopefully return soon, like in a month or a bit, a month and a bit, but we're just playing through Gen 4, them on Pearl, I'm on uh, Diamond. 
just to have some fun with that. So I might, after every week or two weeks or so, use the team that I have at that moment in Diamond and use it um, in Battle Revolution, like I have done with the partner takeover. Like the team that I ended with, or my partner ended with at the end of a stream, I use that in Battle Revolution for video. I think that would be fun. That way you can see things like, I don't know, Apom or Flaffy or Need Arena. Things you don't normally see because they're not fully evolved. And it's a different kind of battle, lower Pokemon, where their best move might be Swift or Bite, instead of Flamethrower, Explosion, or Earthquake. I think that'll be good fun. Alright, that'll be it for this Vortex video. I plan to record one a bit later today as well. Um, so then, either in two days or in six days, because again, every second day I do, I'll upload something that isn't Battle Revolution. Um, I'll have something up again. Please let me know in the comments of this video what you'd like me to see in the future because I want to I won't say I want to do one every every second day definitely not but like every week maybe have a Vortex video I think that'd be cool. A lot of people do still like Vortex videos so Vortex catch bot Hello creepy old man Is that just a reason that you decided to go with that doesn't seem right Hmm. Anyway, I, I lost my train of thought because I'm not using it. What was I going with my story? Yeah, the interesting Battle Revolution teams. I think that would be really cool to use. Um, Vortex, let me know what you want to see. Do you want me to see Hunt for Pokemon like Heatran? Or like, I could also go to Route 13 Hunt for both Thunder Ridge and Dratchanilla because I don't have some of the variants for those. Do you want me to see do side quests uh, tutorial? I've done a few tutorials. I could do a tutorial. I don't expect to do that, that that many of them. Or maybe I could do a new tutorial if it's something I'm very knowledgeable about. And otherwise, just if you just like, hey, I just want you to do um, a Vortex video. I don't really care what it's about. Just play Vortex and talk because I enjoy that. And you can let me know, know that too. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next Pokemon Vortex video, and maybe in like Battle Revolution or something else on my channel too, because remember, I do upload daily. Thank you for watching, and make sure you always remember that you are worth it. Goodbye.